We turn now to the miracle of technology, helping people with disabilities redefine their lives. New technology is helping people with severe physical disabilities interact and do everyday things simply by thinking about them. Rodney Gorham, an ALS patient who can't use his arms or his voice, can now use Wi-Fi connected devices to control devices in his home, from picking his favorite playlist, to turning on a lamp, adjusting the air conditioning, or running a robotic vacuum. Cleaning started. Even feeding his dog. Gorham is one of 10 people who've received a surgically implanted brain computer interface device powered by artificial intelligence. The device decodes signals from his brain activity and translates them into commands. This is the first time that we've used the device uh, with layers of AI. The NVIDIA technology takes information delivered using Apple Vision Pro and it identifies digital devices that are in the home environment and then the BCI lets you make choices. That BCI, or Brain Computer Interface, was developed by a company called Synchron, which has been conducting clinical trials. The goal with this technology is that people who are dependent on other people can restore some of that agency, some of that autonomy. If you'll see in the demo that Rodney's wife texts him, she says she has to leave and do some things, and he's then in his own home environment interacting with the phone, with the fan, with the with the dog feeder, with a whole range of, of activities that he can now do on his own. Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, is developing similar technology, recently announcing a second person with a spinal cord injury has been implanted with a brain chip, which allows patients to control technology with their mind. And Synchron hopes to make its device available to more people within a few years.